Hi, this is Scott Gentile of A2A Simulations, and we are currently in development with our AccuSim P51 Mustang. We've recently visited the beautiful and famous Moonbeam McSwine, owned and operated by Vlado Lenok. In this video, we'll be with Vlado as he gives his walk around to his beautiful Moonbeam McSwine. I'd start the walk around after I got out of the cockpit and checked it. And then I'd start it by just pulling on the flaps, making sure they're tight. And I hear that the connection is tight inside there. Okay. And go along here to the ailerons and with the controls locked, make sure that they're tight too. But primarily looking at the uh, trim tab, make sure that is tight, uh, that all the hinges are up here secure, that there's no uh, deformation or anything. Just a quick glance, you could take a look and see that they're okay, but mainly wiggling that it is secure. Then coming along here, just general condition, looking at the wingtip, that it appears all secure. And general condition of the leading edge, that there's no dents or any problems there. Then coming over here to the uh, left wheel well, uh, just a quick look at the tires, making sure that they're in generally good shape. Uh, make sure that the strut's extended, that means it's got air in there for the um, oleo. And also there's no big leaks here from the brake area. That's where the brake um, pack is. And make sure there's no hydraulic fluid leaking from there. Okay. Then going inside here, looking inside the wheel well, you just look at general condition. Make sure there's no big leaks there, no wires hanging or anything out of sort. We look then at the uh, <coughs> up lock, which is here. Make sure that's in good shape, that's not bent or damaged. This is what mechanically will lock the landing gear up when we're flying. And then look over here, make sure the hydraulic lines are secure, there's no major leaks. Over here we check the rod that retracts and extends the landing gear, make sure that's secure. We primarily want to make sure that the uh, rod end bearing the part that hooks the uh, rod to the hydraulic actuator, make sure that's not broken or anything. And then from here we can look inside the scoop, make sure there's no foreign debris in there, uh, paper, birds, wildlife or whatever, make sure that's all clear. And then we get up, and we walk around the side, make sure everything's okay here, no major drips or anything. And then again on the other side, Look along here, same story, making sure there's no major drips or leaks or anything from the motor. Then go back into the uh, right wheel well and again check the same thing. The uh, up lock, make sure that's secure. The hydraulic actuators, make sure they're okay. Over here is a uh, hydraulic pressure gauge that shows the precharge pressure. You want to make sure that's at least at 400 so that there's a precharge in the hydraulic system. And then coming over here, again we check the right landing gear actuator and the rod. The hydraulic actuator is right here and the rod's on this side. It's a silver rod. And then over here we again, same thing check the landing gear, make sure that's extended, general condition of the rubber, no major leaks of oil, hydraulic fluid rather, on the uh, from the brakes. Okay. And then here general condition of the wing, wing tip, make sure that's okay, aileron again, and then really important, make sure this is secure, that this hasn't come apart or anything, the uh, uh, hook up is right here and make sure that's all tight. And then flaps. Again, make sure the right flap's okay. And then on this side, just general condition of the skin. Make sure that the uh, uh, static vent is clear. And then over here, the, hydro the uh, tail wheel door, it needs to be loose like that. During a uh, run up, you can sit next to a Mustang and with the air blowing over here, these things will shake. Mm -hmm. from the air going across. Okay. And then the uh, right side elevator, make sure that's tight. And again, real important, make sure the trim tab is secure. And then over here, the rudder, general condition, trim tab secure again. And then on the left side, the left trim tab, make sure that's tight. And then come over here, come back around. 
again, general condition of the leading edges, static vent, make sure that's, that's clear. Tailwheel door, it's all loose. And that's general condition here. And then one thing I do check before I uh, get in is check the oil quantity of the engine. There's an access door there. You okay. can open it up and just open, pull the dipstick out. And stay tuned for our next development video where Captain Jakey goes up in the Moonbeam McSwine with cameras mounted and Vlada will test fly the aircraft so we can capture everything this aircraft has to show. Here we had a rare opportunity to mount cameras in the cockpit watching the aircraft as it flies from both the outside and with cameras mounted on the gauges on the inside. Here are Captain Jake. After Captain Jake returned, we jumped in the cockpit with our high resolution cameras and put them right on the cockpit for the entire flight. With the help of professionals throughout the industry, we're looking forward to bringing you the next world-class AccuSim aircraft from A2A Simulations.